welcome back to Jackie's Creative Lifestyle. Today we are going to do envelope art number two. So we're just really going to show you a different way of doing it to what I did in my last video and that is um, we're going to be using the stamp set little one and we're going to do it more as um, some art on the envelope rather than just uh, decorating around the address. So this is what we're going to start with and we're going to um, use the teepee on the stamp set and also at the top we'll use some of the um, flowers and greenery. So we start off with the uh, Whisper White card, sorry, Whisper White envelope and um, that's available at Stampin' Up. So if you need any supplies, please contact me. Um, we've got our little card that we had in our last video, which is six by four. Um, of course, you can have any size that you want to have, um, depending on how big you want to write your address or how small. So I start with this size anyway. Um, I'm just going to ink up with stays on to my stamp and um, we're going to do a bit of colouring today. So let's get that first of all onto the envelope and I've decided to pop it down in the uh, bottom left corner and keep my artwork onto mainly that side and then it balances when you put the stamp on you've got that balance on the envelope. So there's the wee teepee and I'm going to choose the blender balls again today to decorate it and I've chosen some soft ones and the reason being is that this envelope is going to go to a baby girl that has been born. So this is the um, the leaves and a couple of flowers that I'm going to place on. Now I leave the wee card, actually I lift the card up and um, we're going to stamp down so that this particular flower will run through where the white address area is. So I just lift the card so I know where to place that and then when I put that down it's going to keep my white area. So we're going to, you'll see how it works, it um, will leave it so that the flowers run through the address area. Okay so now we are going to speed this up and show you the colouring. don't want to bore you too much so I decided to speed this up and um, so that you can just see how I've actually done this. Now I'm using the um, the darker pink to fully completely cover this and then I will bring in um, some different shades of that and I'm just going to use a really light blue. So you can really choose any colours that you want to and of course if this was going to um, a little baby boy that's been born then switch it up and um, make a little blue teepee. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. It also works absolutely fantastic and I did this and, it, and got some great um, messages back. I um, sent it to a little boy for his um, birthday and um, of course he apparently was really excited with the TP on the card and didn't really care for the card inside but kept the envelope so that's sort of a bit of a turn up for the box isn't it that um, they're keeping the envelopes rather than the cards but never mind I um, did decide to do a different um, card on the inside when I did send it so um, next time I might stick to um, putting the same sort of image on the outside of the envelope as is in the inside. Then you might keep the card and the envelope. So note this is looking really good. I'm happy with how this result's coming up. And I'm just putting some greenery there on the leaves. And um, I've just stopped the speed now and we're back to normal speed. And so we're going to place that card back over that decorated area. But before I do that, I'm actually going to... Um, do some decoration down the side of this envelope because I think it just needs something a little bit on this side um, just to balance it for when I put the stamp and things in. So this is another stamp that is in the stamp set little one and um, it sort of gives that little look of like barcode down the side and I quite like using this. I use this actually in my project um, life as well when I'm doing memory keeping and things like that also. So um, yeah, quite like it. It's quite a cool little um, edging. And I randomly put it there. I didn't actually line it up perfectly. And, and that's the look I like. So um, now we're just going to grab our sponge. 
place that card over the area where we're going to address and I'm just going to sponge that outer area to soften all that whiteness. So I'm just using a very soft pink and then it's nice little round motions and you're working from the card out. So you're circling out so that the card and most of the um, ink will be on the card first and then it will move out onto the envelope. And as I'm patting this down with my sponge, you can see the ends of my nail tips going into the ink pad. I should really be careful when I'm doing that. <laughs> so we'll just colour this up and continue round. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, by the way. It's very wet here in Mount Munganui today. We've, um, it's quite overcast and yucky. Hopefully that will improve as the days goes on. We seem to be having four seasons in one day at the moment here. Anyway, back to our envelope. I hope you guys are enjoying me bringing you these envelopes. Um, we'll get back into cards and things, but um, I really just wanted to touch on this and, um, and just show you. I'm now going to pull out my um, journaling pen, and this is number one because it's a, quite a fine tip, and I really like using the fine tip. And I'm just going to do the double line, which I like to do around that um, address box. So it's basically just holding the paper and letting your whole arm move down, and it seems to balance it. Don't try and move the pen down, just move your whole arm, and you'll be very surprised how straight you get it. And then I just pop some little zigzaggies in there to break that up. Putting it around the um, outside also helps because it helps pop out that image that's on the envelope. And you'll notice that as we do this, it really does make this card, this envelope, I'm, what am I talking about cards for? Makes this envelope pop out. We certainly want to give the, a, put a smile on the postie's face, don't we? They need some smiles. So the more we do this, the better it's going to be for our posties. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm not going to put the address on because that would certainly expose whoever I'm sending it to. So of course you write that address into the address box. I am now going to add something a little bit um, more and that is a little wee word that says welcome little one and I'm putting that up into that top left hand corner. And that's really just to give it some more balance but also um, some more information on the envelope. So we just ink that up. You don't have to use stays on, we aren't going to be colouring with this. So um, just your normal archival black will be perfectly fine and that will go over our um, sponged image there. So that just really brings the envelope alive. Now I'm just going to pull out my, um, whoops, my, oh gosh now I've got a blank. Why do I get a blank now? This is the glitter. Okay, I'm going to just say liquid glitter because it's just gone completely out of my head. And I'll write the details below. I don't like that when that happens. It's a very, it's just glitter, clear glitter, and, um, and it's liquid. So it just runs on really nicely. And I'm going to remember this, the name of it, as soon as I get to the um, end of this video. So hopefully it will pop up into my head and we will know what it's called before the end of the video. Okay, so at this stage, I really like what we've got there, but I want to just add something a little bit more. So I've pulled the stars out that are actually in the stamp set. The stamp set's so versatile. Bringing out that pink that we've sponged with and just pop this around just to give it some starry, starry night. And a lady said to me um, the other day when I did one similar to this that it looked like wallpaper what I'd actually done was like wallpaper behind the teepee. So um, yeah, that's another way of looking at it. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope to bring you more of these over the months and um, pop them in now and again. I hope you've enjoyed it and, um, and you come back to visit Jackie's Creative Lifestyle soon. Bye for now.